Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're here checking out a new game for the channel called Undead Development. So you guys seem to like the VR, I like the VR, it's actually really neat. I've learned a couple of things since I did the last VR game. I need to keep my head steady, which is hard because I'm the very animate guy. So, Undead Development is really cool. It is a building, crafting, survival style of game where the apocalypse has happened, you can see everything looks like crap, and we're gonna have to build structures out of all the materials that we find to try and protect ourselves from, yes, zombies. Okay, so there are zombies in it, but the building aspect is really neat. It's got a little bit of a demo kind of uh, tutorial here. There's not much to it. I'm just going to click off it right now. I kind of understand for the most part what I'm doing. This is a demo. It's not even really early access at all or anything like that. I'm going to have links in the description below. If you want to check it out, it's completely free. So if you want to go ahead and support the developer, feel free to go ahead and do that. So right away, you can see we have our hands over here, and there's already items just kind of laying around for us. This is our base, I guess you could call it. We can go outside when there's no zombie waves, but when the zombie waves begin, we have to stay inside here. So, as you can tell, you can destroy pretty much all of, like, the small objects like this. So we can take our axe, uh, and we can go ahead and blasticate. This little coffee table that was here, and as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab all the ammo. There's some ammo laying around. We're going to go ahead and do this, and then we're going to get a little bit into the crafting. Let's go ahead and blast this thing. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite part of any game. Now we're talking. And then you can pick this stuff up like so, and then if we want, we can go outside. Now, there's a couple things that you could do. First things first, you can take your object here, and if you want, you can just, like, burrow it into the ground. And then stick it in with the side trigger buttons, whatever you want to call those. And it will stay there, and it's stuck. Now, the other thing, can we pick up this door? Oh, hi there, door. Holy crap, I didn't know you could have a whole door. And you could build pretty much anything your heart desires. We need, you know what we need, though? Hold on. We need a hammer, which, there's one. I was going to say, which, whoa! This is interesting. Hold on, can I finish headbutt through the wall? Yep. Sure can. Now with the hammer, we can kind of like ramshackle things together. I have no idea if we can get this to hammer. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hold on. We ne it needs to be like pretty much flush. And then, yeah, think you can legitimately hammer stuff. Yeah, baby. Get up in there into different objects. And we can make pretty much anything we can conceive this way. So if you want to make this and you want to put like a giant barricade in front of your door, you can like so. There we have it. Just kind of keep smashing the old things and maybe a couple... Can you go under? I wonder if you can go under. Kind of... Oh, you can! There we go. Couple of nails underneath. Let's take a look if it worked. It sure did. Okay, so now we have this horrible creature. I know. The Grace crafting skills are second to none, baby. Let's grab our axe and try and not hit the wall of green screen that is surrounding Gray. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Bust all that up. Well, that's a lot of chair. Holy crap. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this chair. So... Let's go ahead and grab it. We'll teleport ourselves back over here real quick like so. Ooh. More Is that a... Hold on. Is this a grenade? That definitely looks like a grenade. That's getting used. Before we start building all the barricades, let's start getting weapons. Now, your belt kind of runs out pretty quick. So, I'm going to keep that gun in the house. Oh, there's two guns. Oh, and there is just a, a slew of friggin'... A slew of friggin' bullets and stuff over here if I can grab it without punching my, my wall. This bed must die for the cause! All these planks are gonna be real, real good for us to knock that over. What the hell? And then we got one more beam over here. You're getting down on the ground, Akated. That beam as well. And while we're at it, I think there's one more over here. Yep. Boom! All this stuff is destructible. I'm a big fan of that. Let's go ahead and get outside real quick. Sometimes you can find all kinds of different objects outside. There's another axe over there. I really don't think that we need to be dual wielding axes so to speak look at this old beat up trailer over here actually the the different objects in the game are actually really cool can we get up on top of it oh you can okay good i was gonna say there's a couple of bullets up in here that i would like to get oh hi random rifle on top of a piece of shrubbery or something how are you doing yes looking good now this is something we want now whenever you grab something out in the world like this you can send it back to your base by putting it behind your head and hitting that side trigger button. And it's kind of, it, it acts like um, like a backpack or something. It teleports back to your original base, which is pretty cool. All oh, the trailers on blocks. This is gangster. That's what I'm talking about. I think we got some, I think we have a wooden plank over here. So these are real good. 
Go ahead and grab one of these. Now, you can nail these and make all kinds of structures with them. So, is that a bear trap? Hold on. Put that back. Got a bear trap over here. Yes. There we go. Now, that's what you want for your zombie sling antics right over there. And I think, is this what they call a deagle over in the FPS games? Desert Eagle Pistol Magnum. Research Inc. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Sounds about right. Why don't you go ahead back to base as well? Looking around here, just look. Oh, hold on. I wonder. Can you now? If you could take down the trees. Oh, I was gonna say if you could hack away at the trees, this would be like total survival. It would be just like all the other survivor games I play, except I'm gonna have to get a little bit of the exercisey while I do it. That's not a bad thing at all, though. Is that just a bunch of barrels of toxic waste laying around? I think that there's something inside the barrels. Another axe. What's with all the axes, man? Give me, uh, give me them bullets. Hold on, I gotta see if I can teleport correctly and get these bullets without smashing my entire house up. There we go. You just gotta stand inside of the rock to get the bullets. Whatever, it still counts. Over here, we have the outhouse, which we've already done. There's an axe over there. I think that there is a burn down building way over here. Yeah, this entire building, that's neat. There's like a diner over there. Let's say hotel over there. There's like a bunch of beat up tanks. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's start by the tanks. The tanks gotta have something good, right? And is that another Desert Eagle? Or is this the same? No, that's, that's definitely another Desert Eagle. They don't go over here. They go like in the middle of the floor. We're gonna be dual wielding Desert Eagles, boys. That's legit. Go ahead and grab this plank over here. The more planks, the better. Throw that back. And I see a bunch more ammo laying around. Grab that ammo. Grab that ammo. We're going to be dual, dual fisting ammos over here. Oh, that would be cool if you could use this gun. Look at that big gun right there on this tank. Actually, the entire tank looks pretty sweet. What's behind this? Now, this is just one level at the moment. Like I said, we're only doing the beta. Well, beta. We're only doing the demo right now. So, inside of this hotel, can you finish headbutt through it? Is there anything inside? Yeah, you can sure headbutt through it. There, isn't, there ain't jack crap inside, though. I think I saw something around back, though. Yep, another rifle. More rifles, the better, I always say. Be dual wielding rifles. There we go. Send that back to the old place. What is this? It's like someone raided the friggin' rifle shop. There's rifles everywhere. I can't go 10 feet without messing with rifles. Now, can you... Can I, like, smash this part down? No. How about if I grab the axe? Can we take these boards down? Ah, oh, that's too bad. I was gonna say, it'd be cool if you could... There's weapons everywhere. Look at this. We don't even... I don't even need that many of these because you can only wield, like, two at a time. But, uh, it would be really, really neat if you could rip down all the other buildings and, like, take all their stuff for your own. Are those bones? Oh. We got another bear trap. Now, that's what I'm talking about. I never got to use these when I was messing around. I messed around with, like, one level just to kind of learn how the controls go and stuff like that. But I never found a bear trap, or I just couldn't see the bear traps. So now that we can, I'm very curious to see exactly how they work. Now, I don't believe that you can... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh! I didn't know you could get up here as well! This is epic! Okay, so but look at all this stuff, man. Holy crap, there's, like... There's like boards for days. I wonder if you can get through that little hatch over there. Let's go ahead and slippity do all this. Over here, we got some more shotgun shells. And can I get through this? Can I open this hatch up? No, you can't open the hatch up. That's too bad. Ooh, can I get to the other side? No, we can't get on the other side of that building either. On the other side of the zone here, I see some more bullets. I see another hammer, which we don't really need unless we want to dual wheel hammers. I guess you could like really, really hammer stuff in with the dual hammers, but I'm not sure that's something you really want to. I don't know if you want to see me playing the drums. Is that a box? It's like a crate. Boop. Oh, hi there, crate. You popped out another axe. And some more bullets. Okay. Now, can you open... Ooh, oh, hi there, truck. Can you open the truck? That'd be cool if you could open the door of the truck, but you cannot. There is another gun laying inside... Hold on over here. Laying right inside the tailgate of the truck. There we go. Little... Is this like your Makarovs or whatever? Right now, someone's like, That's not a Makarov, Gray! You go to hell! Oh, suitcase! Let me open that. Who keeps... Like, the only thing these people kept inside of their suitcase is ammunition? I mean, I, I guess it is the zombie apocalypse, but damn, come on, man. So we've wandered around, we've got bullets, we've got loot, and we have a pile 
of these things over here. So let's check this out. So you can grab your item and you can you can move through these. The zombies, well, they kind of can. They have to bust them down. So let's go outside here. Let's kind of go this way, I do believe. And now let's see. Can I can I hammer this in? How, how do you how does it want me to do this? There it is. There it is. That's gangsterific right there. Yeah, get all them. Come on, let's make this Looney Tune style. I want another one. I want like 30. There we go. I was gonna say I want like 30 nails or something in one board. What the hell? I'm gonna put another one up here all jacked up and sideways. Somehow we're nailing it straight into the concrete. It looks like concrete, not like not like any kind of plaster or anything, because our entire house is this beautiful primer color. Looks like there's four openings. Is there stuff in there? It looks like there's stuff inside of there. There's four openings that zombies can come out of. I'm just gonna drop that right there. So Let's, um, let's try something here. I wonder, can you make, like, a kill box where, like, all the zombies get funneled down? Let's see over here. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's try, let's try and make our box. Can I, oh, God in heaven. Can I nail this, like, sideways like this? This is interesting. Yep, Gray still leans. There we go. Okay, so you can definitely, like, make it sideways like that. That's probably a little bit high. Unless we're fighting like like giant zombies. I have a feeling the most part of the zombies are of average height. So let me try and like teleport right in here. Let's let's put this here. There we go. That's probably a more appropriate height. That's what we want. Now can you remove this stuff? Oh, you can! Oh, that's epic! Okay, I had no idea you could do that. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that so much. That's much better than I thought it was going to be. The old cross hammer here. Yep, this is how you do it, boys. <laughs> Learn from the master of freaking construction. There we go. Yeah, so I want him to like funnel down here, although this one's kind of sideways. We'll see if that does anything. In fact, while we're at it, from what I understand, they will always go after posts and stuff first. So let's line up a post. Let's see here. Let's line up a post in the ground. Right there, because we want them sitting right in front of the doorway so we can get the maximum blasting going on here. Let's put another one over here, too. Put this one right in here as well. Right like that. I probably should have made this thing lower, because I think we're going to want, like, clear shots at the head. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that the head does the most amount of damage. So let's go back over here, and let's, let's do this nice and low so we can get... So we can have a, a decent bead. There we go. So we can have a decent bead on the head over here. You really gotta swing it. You really wanna swing the hell out of it. And let's put a post out here so that they get stuck right like that, nice and low, so that nothing gets in the way. And can we get on top of our building, I wonder? Because the other, well, kind of looks, oh, we teleported it inside. I was gonna say, it almost looked like you could get inside uh, or on top of the building, because we got on top of the one building and it was awesome. We got like all kinds of stuff because we were on top of that building. Let's, um, oh, I wonder, can you, like, <laughs> I was gonna say, can you break up this friggin', uh, hold on, you know what, we can do better than this, there we go, there we are, yeah, 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 I was gonna say, can you break up all that where the, uh, the computer is, we got more bullets laying around over here as well, get out of the way, box, in fact, all these boxes, do you have anything inside of you, do I have to bust you open? Can I bust open the boxes? You can't bust open boxes. That's interesting. Actually, even my axe is being thwarted by the box. I know there's extra ammo under here. Let's move all this out of the way. There we go. Now we're dealing good. Now we're doing good. Let's go put this back. And we have a fantastic object here to block a door with. I think that for the most part, most of our doors are amply blocked. Uh, except for this one. Hold on. We'll put this one down. Put this one down kind of low like this. Let's see if I can hammer this in. There it is. Okay. So that's not really the best defense, but I want to get into the zombie slaying. So let's freaking do it. Let's teleport over here real quick. Walk our happy ass by the trigger and then push the trigger to get things going. You know what we do not have? We didn't find a shotgun. Got a lot of guns, but no shotgun. That'll be fine. All right. Wave one. Begin. Let's uh, grab one of these. Did we find a grenade? Pretty sure we found a grenade. We did find a grenade. It was on my belt. Now you reload by putting it by your hip. So we got a couple of zombies coming in nice and languidly. How does the aim work here? Let's find out. Oh, got to get kind of back a little bit. That was a miss. There we go. All right. So the aim is somewhat true. You just have to watch out when you're by these boards. Let's go ahead and lean over here. Oh, hold on. 
Get down nice and low. You gotta crouch down, boys. There we go. There we go. And a nice... I was gonna say a headshot, but we actually destroyed his entire his entire torso. Yeah, whatever. Whoa! Hi there, buddy. How are you doing? Well, not too good because all that's left is a pair of legs. Over the shoulder shot. Headshot right there. We got one more. One more sorry nobody. Stop. Stop it. Stop blasting my freaking wood. There we are. Okay, so this works pretty good. Um, no real need for the grenade quite yet. Let's put the grenade there. Let's try the rifle. Yeah. Now we're talking. What do we got? What do we got? I hear people. Yes! Whoa! The rifle is uh, surprisingly good. Anything around the corner over here? Kind of duck and dodge a little bit. Not too much. There we go, boys. Line them up. Line them up for the shooting gallery. Wave one completed. Now my question is, let's go ahead and drop that down there. Now my question is, when you complete a wave, do new items spawn? Like, am I gonna find new ammunition and stuff around here? I hope so, because if not, we're gonna go through ammunition pretty quick. Although to be fair, there's only the one level. So you can't, you know what I mean? It's like, we can't be here forever. I think that you do get some respawns. It's just, it's all kind of random. So it may go ugh, all over the place. Look at all the axes everywhere. There's like a million. Is that a potted plant? That's a potted plant. Are those beer cans? Hold on. Can you pick? Oh, I was hoping you could pick them up. How about this chair? Can I destroy this chair? Oh, I don't even have my, um, I, oh, I do have my axe. I was going to say, I don't have my axe on me. No, you can't destroy the chair. You can't destroy the potted plants yet. You got two minutes between waves to scrounge around. I think we've done some decent scrounging. It's probably going to pull me back to the house pretty soon. Yep, there we go. Ten seconds. Let's get back into the house. What do we want to use? Let's keep the grenade on us because I love the grenade. And, um, yeah, well, actually, you know what? We're going to stick with this for right now. Hey, boys, there's vacancies over at the motel. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that this is a paradise, right? This is just the place anyone would want to stay with the family. Yeah, there's outdoor grilling. You have lovely manufactured mobile homes over there. Beautiful skies all the time, though. I will say it is a very lovely sky. Who wants to play with Gray? Who? That was terrible. Who wants to play? Not that one right there. Can you shoot them all around the ground? Yep, there's the old ball shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Arms flying off left and right. I think we got someone over in this room. Yep, we sure do. Oh, we got a trio. Hold on. We go and throw the crap. Throw the grenade. <laughs> I think we got one of them with the grenade. There it is. So the grenade works as long as you can toss it out. Whoa! As long as you can toss it outside. I should have used the underhanded method. We got zombies starting up. What is going on over here with my aim? My aim is absolutely atrocious. Oh, I think one of the zombies dropped some bullets. Man, we got we got a big opening on the side of our house, boys. We got a big opening on the side of the house. There we go. Oh, this is so bad. All my weapons are on the other side of the house. There we go. All the weapons are on the other side of the house. That's how you do it. Come right underneath the head like that. Holy God. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Well, that was a little bit more hectic than I had previously anticipated. Oh, hey, shotgun shells for the shotgun that we don't have yet. Get this hammered down. There we go. Hammered like that. And then... Like I said, man, there's a lot of probably structures uh, that we could be building. But for right now, I'm just kind of doing simple stuff. Let me go right about out here. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, drop that down. Grab a grenade. See if we can get him from here. Yep. Are we high or low? I think you really, I think you really, really want to be like super close. It looks like on the left hip it reloads. But not on the right hip. That's kind of interesting. Got one coming in. Wow, the jibs. Oh, the giblets. Giblets just went flying. Oh, we got one behind us too. Hold on here. Let's see if I can lean around the corner and get this guy. There we go. Just a little bit of a lean. And then you as well. Come on, go down. Go down. Go down. That's bad. Did I just pull the pin on this? I think I may have. I don't know. Hold on. Let me go over here for the other grenade. There we go. I, it sounded like I accidentally hit the po Oh, God! Whoa! Underhanded throw! Back ourselves into a corner! Blow! 
Blow! Yes! Yeah! We're not going down without a fight! We're not going down without a fight! Heads are flying over there! Let's move up this way. There we go. There we go. Now we're doing... Now we got him. Get down low! Crap. Oh, look at this. That's it. Line them all up. Whoa. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this game. This game. There we go. See what kind of dead I am with this. Yeah! Holy crap! This thing is fantastic! I had it's like the it's like the the noisy cricket or whatever from uh, Men in Black. Holy God! Let's do some headshots here. There we are. There we are. And the eyeballs go flying. Wave three completed, and we've done all right. We got to use the grenade too, which I'm really happy about. So what do you think? The game I think has a lot of potential. The ability to make all your own stuff and fortify your base and stuff like that is so cool. And like, I just, I, like, we did really basic stuff, like just boarding up walls and things like that. It, it would be neat if you could build like ramps and stuff, but it kind of looks like the zombies just attack whatever wooden thing is in front of them. But if you could build like boxes, like kill boxes to funnel them into the door and stuff like that, like walls, literal walls that you build out to funnel them in toward the door, that would be really neat. Guys, what do you think of undead development? Like I said, there's going to be links in the description below. If you want to check it out, completely free, feel free to support the developer. It is a demo right now. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy.